everybody, it's Babs. How are you all? I hope 2012 hasn't been too bad for you guys. Today's going to be a girl talk episode. A lot of you guys are asking if I've forgotten about them and I haven't. It's just every day they're doing building constructions. So it's kind of why I'm filming at night time with really unflattering light. <laughs> Hence the dark circles. But it's okay because I love you, okay? I love you. I love you, man. A lot of you guys requested for the next topic to be based on how to get a guy to like you. So this video was put together thanks to the help of a lot of people out there. So thank you everybody who shared your input. So I spent the past several weeks asking guys out there and guys even around me what attracts them in a girl and what puts them off in a girl. Surprisingly, they more or less said the same thing and we're going to be sharing that today, which is going to be fun. Going back to how to get a guy to like you, I guess there's two ways to look at it. There's a whole physical side, which is the whole appearance thing, and then there's the whole mental side, which is for them to see your character. So I'm going to start off by asking you guys a question, and it's whether they've seen, say, an average looking guy with some, like, hot chick, okay? And I bet some of you guys are like, I bet that guy is loaded, but say he's not, okay, because I do have friends of mine and um, they don't consider themselves as good looking or anything, but they have really beautiful girlfriends. And I can understand why, because um, some of my guy friends are so funny and so smart, so I totally see why their girlfriends like them. And I don't think there's anything that's more attractive than a girl or a guy that's comfortable themselves. So it really falls down to how you carry yourself. So then at least find a confidence, which sounds easy to some people, but then for the more um, self-conscious people, this could be a tricky thing. I understand we all have areas in ourselves that we don't like, but who doesn't? Nobody's perfect, and you just have to accept that, okay? Except you're not perfect. My advice is really to stop worrying, just let go, and just stop caring about what other people think as well. So what if you have acne? So what if you're short? So what if you're heavier than you'd like to be? So what if your job isn't as... I don't know, exciting as you wanted to be. Who cares? You guys won't believe the amount of emails I get from girls and guys out there and you guys are just crying your hearts off because you guys think you're ugly and you're unattractive and you're stupid and you just don't think anybody is going to like you. As much as it breaks my heart to hear this, you guys have to understand that crying about it and just moaning about it won't change anything. It won't change the way you look. In fact, you have to realize that you're going to be living with the rest of yourself for the rest of your life. So you might as well come to terms with yourself. But you must, must accept that everybody is different and just stop comparing. It's not healthy and it's not necessary. So instead of waiting for someone to come along who will accept you, you must accept yourself first. I'm not going to deny that having good legs can help you um, attract a guy, but it really, really is all about the heart. As corny as it sounds, say there's two cups, okay? And one cup is really pretty, okay? And then the second cup, it looks dirty and muddy and cracked. But then you take a sip from the good cup, right? And you realize the contents inside is just, you're, you're drinking something disgusting, like, I don't know, like piss, okay? But then in the really cracked cup, you drink it and you're like, oh, this, this taste is like heaven, this, this taste is good. So in the end of the day, it's all about the content. Would you rather drink out of the pretty cup that's got piss inside or the crappy cup that's got like delicious goodness inside? You'll, you'll take the, the delicious one because it's all about the content, right? I can tell you guys that um, when I was a teen girl, I, I had crushes on the popular ones in the school. In fact, um, one of my very first boyfriends, he was one of the popular guys. And even though he's been with so many girls in my high school, I, I thought, oh, I'm privileged to be one of the girlfriends. You know when you have a crush on someone, you automatically just imagine that they'll be like Prince Charming or something. But then when you get to know the character, you see that they're arrogant, they're, they're cocky, and they love themselves. In fact, he actually dumped me in the end because he tried to pressure me into doing things I, I wasn't ready for. And I'm so glad he like dumped me because he's not the guy that I'm meant to be with. Which brings me back to um, the boyfriend type video. It really made me happy that a lot of you guys liked him. But, um, you know, you still get a few comments who would be like, Oh, he seems like a really nice guy, Bubs, but I think you could do better. And Tim saw these comments, but he wasn't, like, bothered about it because he doesn't care so much about himself. And that's why I'm so attracted to him because he's just so down to earth and he's so real and funny and smart. And that really attracts me and I think, I think those are really attractive qualities. So appearance does capture attention, but it really is your personality or your character that captures the heart. So now for the fun part, we're going to be going through the points that guys don't like in girls. Um, not any particular order, but um, let's start. 
Okay, very first uh, factor that guys don't like in girls is gossipy girls because it's it's a sign of insecurity. Confident, happy girls, they don't run around dissing their girlfriend behind their backs. They, they just don't do it. It just shows that you can't be trusted as well. Next one is uh, guys don't like girls wearing too much makeup. So this, um, I guess this depends on the type of guy. But I think in general, a guy would like to know that a girl is maybe comfortable enough to be in her own skin. I mean, makeup could be like a fun hobby thing to do. I mean, I like makeup because I think it's fun. Let's face it, make, makeup makes me look better, but um, you know, I don't mind taking my makeup off and um, I think guys appreciate that. Next one is, um, guys don't like dirty, rank girls. <laughs> you imagine eating with a girl that's kind, gorgeous, got a great sense of humor. You can't even talk to her because she's got bad breath. You want to like kiss her, but then she's like, hi, I can put off a guy. So ladies, you know, brush your teeth, uh, use breath mints. Um, deodorant, shower, clean your hair, wear clean clothes, that stuff's easy. This one is uh, girls who are fake. Um, that's kind of like the gossipy thing. When you're fake, it's hard for a guy to trust you. How can someone be true to you when you're not true to yourself? So Some guys out there are intimidated by loud girls that swear loads. Some guys are probably, you know, shy and intimidated. It really depends, like I said. Uh, next one is messy girls. I think I'm pretty messy. I have to learn to pick up after myself. But again, I think guys like it when girls are able to take care of themselves and they're responsible, even with small situations. The next one is girls that think they're better than everybody else. Yeah, just because um, you're pretty or if you're more well off or smarter, it doesn't make you any better than someone else. And I guess when you think too much of yourself, people can, can think less of you. Next one they don't like is inconsiderate selfish girls. When you're in a relationship, it takes two, they should both care for each other, so the girl shouldn't just think about herself, her needs, what she wants to do whatsoever. And next one's pretty funny because um, some of you guys wrote this and it's um, moustaches. Now, um, I have to admit that I have to pluck my upper lip. I'm sure a lot of you girls do, um, but yeah, if I don't pluck it sometimes, I get this like green hue here, which isn't very nice. Some guys find um, girls that smoke um, a put off. You can't deny that it's a unhealthy habit. I never share that. I don't think I'll be able to be with someone that smokes as shallow as it sounds. It's just I've lost someone close to me to lung cancer. So for this reason, I I don't think I'd be able to date anybody who, who smokes. So here are the areas that guys out there find attractive in girls. It's not just about looks as well. Most important is having a good heart. Of course, there's a lot of quick ways to make a guy notice you, such as like having a different type of hairstyle or um, a makeover or the clothes that you wear or even just perfume. Guys like it when you smell nice and even stuff like just having a good posture so you're not hunched over. And of course, smiling because nothing is more welcoming than a smile. I just also want to say like to all my younger girls out there, take your time. Why in a hurry? Why are you in a rush? Never feel like you need a boyfriend to fit in. But most importantly, pick someone that you like that brings like the best in you, you know? The right guy wouldn't force you to do anything you're not ready for. The guy that's right for you wouldn't make you ditch your friends and turn you into a bad friend. And most importantly, the right guy wouldn't make you feel ugly. He would make you feel beautiful. So in conclusion, be yourself because you're going to be most comfortable being yourself. And if he appreciates it, he's a keeper. But if he doesn't appreciate it, then he's not the guy that's meant to be with you. Thank you to everybody who sent in your opinions, your advice, and your tips. It'd be amazing if you all comment below and let me know what puts you off in a girl or a guy and uh, what attracts you in a girl and a guy. So that'd be interesting. Okay.